Welcome back to Chris Aquariums. Last week, as you saw, we had some issues with algae in the goldfish tank. But right now, what I want to do is take you through my tropical tank, which is right behind me here, and show you some of the growth and the progress that we made in the last couple of weeks. Some of you might remember that about two months ago, we introduced two baby angelfish into the 60 liter or 15 gallon tropical aquarium. This was about two months ago, and have a look at the growth that they've had since then. This one, with the orange, white, and black pattern, is the koi angelfish. This one with the silver, black and a bit of red in his eye is a leopard print angelfish. To really see how much these guys have grown over the last two months, have a look at this footage of the angelfish next to a sunshine platy and the size difference of them now. Now this is a community tank, so apart from the angelfish, we also have our neon tetras. And of course the sunshine platy that you saw from earlier. This was actually the first fish in the tropical tank. Then as part of the cleanup crew, we have a Corydora catfish. He usually hangs out around the back by the plants. If you look closely, you might be able to see another part of our cleanup crew right there on the glass. We also keep a colony of trumpet snails in the tank. Now these guys hang out in the substrates and they pick up any organic matter that hasn't been eaten by the fish. And of course sometimes hang out on the air stone. And speaking of air and oxygen, these are the plants we have. First of all, we've got this java fern under the driftwood. Then on the other side of the tank, some Amazon swords. These plants are brand new and put them in about a week ago. I honestly don't know what they are, so if you know, let me know. So now that we've spoken about the inhabitants of the tank, Let's talk about the tank itself. This is a 60 litre, 15 gallon aquarium, and I've cut some grooves in the top lid to allow for moisture evaporation and to feed the fish. This is all filtered by a Dymax Slimflow SF240 filter. With 240 litres per hour water circulation, it has mechanical, biological, and activated carbon filtration. All of the equipment in the tank, such as the filter, heater, air stone and lights, come down to an electrical board under the tank. But as you can see, the light is attached to a timer, so it's on for only 6 hours of the day. All of the cables run from the back of the cabinet into the tank. 
For lighting, the tank is a LED display with white and blue bulbs. Since it's a tropical tank, it needs heat. And this tank is just a general 240 watt heater. When it comes to feeding, I just use a typical tropical flake. This works for all the fish and, as you can tell, they like to eat. And that's my 60 liter Community Tropical Aquarium. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you want to follow along with my journey, subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.